One type of genetic mosaicism is somatic mosaicism, which is basically just when genetic mosaicism occurs in cells that are not germline cells. Or in other words, mosaicism occurs in cells that are not gametes, gametocytes, or germ cells. First of all, what is it? It is when there are two populations of somatic cells in the body, although I say two, there could be more than two. And these populations would differ by their genotypes. So you can classify them as one population with normal genotype and another with a genotype that would cause a disease. It is commonly caused by mitotic errors in the earlier stages of embryonic development. It can also be caused by mitotic errors later on in an organism's lifetime. Here is a more visual demonstration of somatic cell mosaicism and how it happens. So first of all, you have a population of normal cells, and then there is a mutated cell by mitosis. And then the mutated cell will carry on to divide by mitosis, and so will the normal cells. And as a result, there would be more mutated cells in the mature organism, and there would also be more normal cells in the mature organism. So the final product would be a mosaic of normal and mutated cells. To visualize this a little better, I have a diagram of a person with two populations of cells in their body. So the blue regions would be the normal cells, and then the red regions are the mutated cells. So you can see that there are areas where cells are mutated, and there are areas where cells are normal. Now this will have implications on trisomy disorders. For the sake of easy reference, we will use trisomy 21, or Down syndrome for this example. So an error in meiosis will cause one of the parents to have a gamete that contains two of chromosome 21. And when this gamete with two chromosome 21 fuses with a normal gamete, the zygote will have three copies of chromosome 21, and this is called the trisomy 21. And then when the zygote divides by mitosis, some cell will undergo normal mitosis without any errors, which gives more cells with three copies of chromosome 21. However, some cells will undergo mitotic errors, which gives cells with only two copies of chromosome 21, i.e. the normal number. And then the normal cells continue to divide to give more normal cells. The cells with three chromosome 21s will also divide to give more of those. And this will result in an organism with some normal cells and some trisomic cells. Organisms with these two populations of cells will present with a less severe phenotype than organisms that have 100% cells with three copies of chromosome 21. This can also have implications on monosomic disorders. And for this example, I'm going to use Turner syndrome. This is not applied when the case of Turner syndrome is caused by non-disjunction during meiosis in one of the parents. It only applies for mitotic errors during the embryonic development of a normal zygote. A normal zygote meaning that it would have two chromosome X's. So some cells during embryonic development can lose one X chromosome and then the cells with one X chromosome continues to divide by mitosis and this will give a mosaic of cells with only one X chromosome and some cells with two X chromosomes and as a result once again, organisms with these genotypes will present with a much less severe phenotype than organisms with 100% monosomy 45X. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more.